All right, let's pr let's embark. You didn't forget anything, right? Let's bring one more anti venom. My first attempts at summoning were crude, and the results disappointing. I soon found, however, that the type and condition of the host's meat was a critical factor. The best results came from pigs, whose flesh is most like that of man. I won't do any talking once we get started, everyone. I actually don't know where the boss is. He's either in the corner, he could be in this little niche, or he could be in this corner. We will swing upwards to this far corner first to see how we're faring inside the warrants. If we're doing well, then I think I'll swing a little west and back south to the starting room, then west and up and check the niche. Advantage. Give them no quarter. A singular strike. A devastating blow.
I just want to quickly interrupt everyone to say that the swine tar doesn't normally just attempt to retreat to the back row. It's been something that's I know has been discussed in the forums. They need to do something with that ability, like add at least a debuff to people, someone in the front or something like that. Basically, he's trying to reposition himself so that he can do a charge that will hit the whole group or hit someone, stun them, and push them to the back. But he can't do anything when he's in the very, very front. And because he's a two-sized creature, when he decides he really wants to do it, there's no stopping him. Hopefully they fix that or they change his abilities or something. Mortality clarified in a single strike. Decimated. surges as the enemy crumbles. alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms.
Fuck. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Huddled together, furtive and vulnerable, rats in a maze. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. This expedition at least promises success.
secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Obliterated. A trifling victory, but a victory nonetheless. The light, the promise of safety.
way is lit. The path is clear. We require only the strength to follow it. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. blow. is even more horrible in death. Liquefaction cannot come soon enough. In Radiance, may we find victory.
wealth beyond measure, awarded to the brave and the foolhardy alike. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. Curtis DeLance went on a drunken bender and hasn't been seen since the previous evening. You also recovered 56 stress. Kim Plaguebloom engaged in flagellation and has recovered 81 stress and is no longer paranoid. Leia Turnblade underwent effective treatment for calm. Al-Rashid has removed Warren's phobe, and Jacob the Broken removed a weak grip on life. And we did the mission! Nice. Wow. Oh, those starting ghouls! <laughs> starting ghouls! And that ghoul crit! Oh my goodness, and all that blight damage! Wow, that was awesome! I was nervous I wouldn't... As you can see, I changed my mind about going up to explore that other treasure chest room. There was no way I was going to risk someone getting an affliction right away. Wow, I'm surprised actually I didn't get one as I went through. Holy crap. Alright, so we have people who are really stressed out. Trimus. Let's think here. Actually, we have more busts. And how much do we have? 70? 71. That will be fine in the transepts, so we'll put both of them there. And we'll... Sure, we'll increase the stress recovery here. Who else has stress? Wow, so many people are stressed out. Alright, so Al-Rashid, you need stress reduction. You can go gambling. I have tons and tons of portraits. Before we do that, I can do one of these two. I think we'll just do training regimen again. Every creature has a weakness. The wise hero trains for what he will face. We don't need level 5s until we hit level 5 dungeons. It looks like, by the way, we'll be able to get slightly more unlocks here, maybe later it look I'm, I'm hoping, for level 6 skills. Alright, so back to here. Um, Al-Rashid, you can go gambling. Oh, what are you using, by the way? Because I saw this. Stun and debuff. Wow, that is awesome. I want that. So... I really do want that. Where's my other occultist? Galvin. 30% debuff chance. I don't care about the stun. Actually, if I don't care about the stun, this should go on our sheed. But this also doesn't have the negative hit point modifier, and it has one more chance to crit. What do you tend to use? Hmm. Probably should go with this. And actually, Galvin, you are using the health stone to make up for it, so... Sure, we'll, we'll leave that as it is, and then Al-Rashid, you can be the one to get the Demon's Cauldron. And you'll take that... here. And then we can sell the debuff amulet. We won't 
need it. Actually, we should hold on to this in case I lose someone. We'll put you there. Actually, I can do a lot of this when we come back, so let's do... Actually, everyone, I'm going to do this on screen. It's been so while since I just did some thinking on screen like this, so feel free to skip to the end if you would like. There's not, there's not going to be another mission after this one. Lady Valera 9, she needs to have her stress reduced. Oh, is she a drinker? Oh, she only wants to gamble. Okay, so we're going to cure that from her. We have Curtis DeLance, who needs to have... I'm sorry, Sir, Sir Simon Fell? He's had bad humors removed. And then was it Rachel? Oh, Rachel's having her stress reduced, and no, it wasn't Rachel. Someone else got a negative quirk I didn't like. I actually forget who my four were when in the dungeon. It was Rachel, Trimus, Nicole gained Nervous. I don't want Nervous on her, so she can have that removed. And that this leaves you, Jacob, as the only other person getting stressed reduced. You're faithless, but you will meditate. So we'll do that then. I'm going to hold on to my portraits because I would like to increase the guild to the next rank of skills. So we're going to hold off on that, on spending these. I do still have a little bit of money. Does anyone else need stress reduced reduction? Calamity Chloe could have some reduced. Sure, we'll throw her in as well. She has 23. Oh, she's a drinker. She will only meditate. Okay, so we'll send her over here then. Wow, that was a lot of money spent. Does anyone not have better equipment? Antiquarian's robes. Who else? Who else needs equipment? Curtis isn't back yet. Piety could use better armor. Everyone else is all maxed. Let me check everyone's skills as well. So, Galvin, all level fours. Stout William, Jasper Shadesong could use level four skills. Still don't like Inspiring Tune. Still needs work. Like, kill Lastlin. A few videos from now, I'll... At, uh, the this game is early access. I love this game so much. I would love to talk about what I'm hoping they change in it. Normally I would never say something like that. This, is, this game is fantastic. It's because I love it so much. I want to see it get even better. I want to see some of the skills become a little more useful than they currently are. I hate I hate having skills that aren't as useful as other skills. I, that's always going to be the case, right? Depending upon what you're encountering or something of a sort anyway. Actually, before I do that, Oswald, what do you tend to use? Uh, we, we can upgrade all of them. So... You're currently using Uppercut, Come Hither, Finish Him, and Hook and Slice. Hook and Slice doesn't do extra bleed damage up here. That's kind of very lackluster. Oh, I'm sorry, it, maybe it does? No, I don't think it does. Finish him. We'll, we'll take the skills he's currently using. And that will be it. I can't afford anything else. And when I go on an adventure, I'll have to do a level 3 dungeon because I don't. Oh no! I'll have to do a level 3 dungeon. I don't have a healer with me for a level 1. And I only have 3 level 1s who are available anyway. Who's here this week? We have another Seeker. Vestal. 
Uh, oh, she's pure healer, too. She, this could work. Her camping skills are just so-so, but I'd have to drop someone if I want to take her with me. That would mean dropping a level 3. I don't want to drop any of my level 3s. And I have other gear I need to equip. So we'll probably do a level 3 dungeon. That means doing a long level 3 dungeon. Judging from the last long mission I did, I'm expecting to fight level 5 creatures in a level 3 dungeon if I do this. That makes me very nervous. I am not ready for level 5 dungeons on any of my characters. So we'll... but we'll probably try the Weld, I guess. I should expect not to win, though. So the last time I did a, a level 1 dungeon that was long, it had level 5... Uh, level 3 creatures in it. It was very dangerous. That said, I have level 4 skills and level 4 armor. I think we might be able to win in a level 5 long. And we're probably going to go here for the Archer's Ring. In particular, I need... I want the Deeds. So I can upgrade my Blacksmith's weapons to rank 4. So we'll do that, and I'll come up with a group who can hopefully go. This is especially going to be awkward, because I don't... I think most of my characters who would go to this are now recovering. Alright, well, I will see you guys then, though. Thank you for watching.